Facebook marketers and business owners. The biggest objection that I get with ads is, hey, I tried taking this ad set that's at $10 a day and I raised it to 50, 100, you know, and now I'm getting less results. It's hard for me to be profitable. And here's why. The simple explanation is this. Facebook is used to you spending that $10, $20 a day. When you take that ad set and you take its current allocation and you raise it that fast, Facebook doesn't know what to do with the extra money because they're not used to that ad budget yet. You need to scale a little bit slower than usual. So here's a little bit of scaling advice. When you have an ad set that's $20 a day and your product cost is like 25 bucks and you're able to get a conversion before that 20, then you're good. But every three days, you need to increase that budget by 20%. So every three days, if that ad set is working consistently, if it drops off for two days, don't raise the budget. Odds are it's going to die. Because when you try to raise that budget even more, Facebook's like, oh, we haven't gotten a conversion in two days. I don't know what to do with this extra money now even more. So I'm just, this is going to be a waste. So if the ad set is consistently working every three days, I increase it by 20%. Once you find an ad set and you know a couple of creatives that are working for that audience, duplicate into another campaign and test new creatives. The number one reason why companies can't scale is because they depend on three to five creatives and that's it. With me, I have over 25 creatives running right now for my personal brand. Damn! And the reason why my ads do so well is because I'm giving my audience a different perspective. Another thing you should understand too is like when you're starting at that small budget on Facebook, like I said, you're basically increasing the budget by so quickly. What you should be doing is taking that $20 daily, duplicating and testing new interests with those creatives. Try to tap into multiple interest sources so that you definitely don't run out of traffic and obviously revenue. So when you get to that point where you have enough data and you have you know over 100 purchases, 100 leads, whatever that case may be, usually I'm talking in terms of conversion-based campaigns only, so like 100 purchases, 100 leads. When you're able to get to that amount, then you can create a lookalike audience. So it's gonna take those 100 people and find you know 2 million plus, just like those 100 people, so that you can optimize your results lower your CPAs, scale faster, and be more profitable. Now, on the other spectrum, this is more for experts or people who are running a business that's making real money. When you are actually scaling and it's hard for you to scale while being profitable or you're having the same amount of profit, then it's an issue of your sales process. Do you have upsell set up? Do you have cross sales? Are you emailing your current customers who are already buyers who have a higher intent? The only way that you're really going to make more money with advertising is by literally having as many upsells as possible that are congruent, that either get faster or better results, or it's more of the same. And those are the three biggest foundations for high converting upsells that will allow you to increase your AOV. And obviously, it does not matter what your CPAs are or your cost per acquisition on Facebook. If you have upsells that convert, that you can consistently scale your ads and be more profitable. So I hope that shines a lot of light on that. Um, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you have any Facebook ad questions, just message me, DM me, or you can click the link in my bio and book a call with me and my team, and I will talk to you all soon. Have a great day.